Hey guys, what's up? It is your friend Keith, and we are live again in the control room at Essex Recording Studios just outside London in England. We've taken over an amazing radio station facility here, and we're bringing the best guitars in the world to share with you guys each and every day. So what do we have here? We have a 60th anniversary Gibson Custom Shop. 59 Les Paul in what they call Green Lemon. This thing is intense. It looks awesome. It's a 59 Voss finish that went to a professional luthier over here in the UK to relic it up a little bit and make it look even more authentic like a 59 Les Paul should. So you can see there's a few little marks here and peppered dings what the uh the owner was going for was kind of like kirk hammett's 59 les paul that he played live all around the world on their last world wired tour awesome guitar this thing is brand new it doesn't even have the toggle switch on and i mean you can see the plastics they give you are all rusted and authentic that you get from Gibson. And I totally see where he was going with this because I mean, you get kind of like the patina on the pickup covers and everything else. And then you get a perfect uh, gloss and lacquer. So on the front, we've got that. The 59s always get the very best matched flame tops. I mean, this thing is so 3D kind of tiger stripe as I go back and forth. Just look at these stripes and the pattern in here. Look as, as I go back and forth how they get wider and thinner and disappear and reappear. It's kind of holographic and it looks absolutely insane in person. Now these anniversary editions are huge, huge money. Here in the UK, they are 5,200 pounds. British pounds, which is, it's got to be, man, well, not too long ago, it was one and a half times uh, the dollar. So that would have been rapidly approaching $8,000. Um, not sure exactly what they're going for in the States, but there's not a lot of them. Every single one is different. No two tops are the same, obviously. And it's a very, very special guitar. The Lifton case is totally different from all previous Lipton cases. You can see this nice shine to it. It's got kind of a waxy patina. Um, it seems much more rich and elegant than previous Lipton cases. The stitching, you have kind of like that baseball glove leather stitching that's just premium. It's kind of like a coach handbag. On the back... Again, you're not going to find any real 59 Les Pauls that don't have any paint wear on the back. So it's exactly what they did. They carefully went down the neck. The neck feels amazing. It feels, well, I don't know how you describe it. It just feels proper. If you've ever had actual 50, 60-year-old vintage instruments, um, there's just a certain patina and wear to them and like kind of broken in-ness that they have, um, and this one's got it. I love what he's done with it. Again, the correct spot where there's always uh, finish wear, right in here. Pretty much once you get to early 80s and older Les Pauls, that's exactly the spot that starts to go, and it will slowly make its way bigger and bigger and bigger. Um, sometimes you'll have just a small spot, sometimes a larger one, you know, it just really depends, but very, very cool. You know, if you're going for an authentic 59 guitar, this thing's unplayed. I mean, again, the toggle switch cover is still there. This is a brand new relic guitar that there's only one of in the entire world. Has the... Genuine diamond inlaid on the custom shop backplate. Of course, you can put a normal backplate on. 
You've got all the original case candy, everything. Really, really interesting. Original box. This was shipped out from Peach Guitars. Amazing guitar dealer here in the UK. Not too far from me, actually. And you can see all the serial numbers in the box all match in green lemon fade boss. Green lemon. All the serial numbers correct. 992615. Hey, hey, 992615. So that's it, guys. We're going to blow this out for a deal, even though it's a brand new instrument. That The only thing that's been done to it is the relicking. I understand it's not going to be for everyone, so we're going to give you a bit of a bargain off the cost of a brand new one. But man, that top. So rad. I love it. All right, guys, I got to get going. It's the weekend. The wife's waiting for me. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, follow us on all the socials at Essex Recording Studios. On Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all that jazz. I'll give you a little peek of what we've got going on. We've got some Megadeth guitars over here, basses from David Ellefson that he used on tour and signed. Super rare ESP JH1. We just did a video. Kirk Hammett Ouija guitar. Uh, actually, the Ouija we got from Paul as well. Good buddy of ours. I should bring that up. Uh, Paul and I had a bunch of beers out in Vienna when we saw Metallica play. And we saw Kirk Hammett play his 59 Les Paul. Uh, I've had quite a few guitars here in the studio from Paul. He's a really good friend. And uh, we really appreciate all the great stuff he sends our way. We'll do a video of the Ouija tomorrow. I kind of want to break it up a little bit since I just did the video of the... JH1. At the end of each of these videos I'm doing over the next couple days, I'm just showing everybody kind of around the studio and how many videos your pal Keith is going to do for you. So you're in for a treat because I'm doing all of these. <gasps> Man, good thing we got coronavirus locked down so I won't be distracted. Cool guys, this radio station, really interesting place. If you have a second, look on our channel. My office is up there. But look on our channel for the whole tour of this building. It was the headquarters for this region of the UK for Daily Mail, world famous newspaper, and global radio headquarters. There's been a lot of different mega radio stations in this complex we've taken over going back 40 years. So we're really proud to carry on the, the history of this place and prevent it from turning into like an accountant's office or something. No way. All right, dudes. Enjoy your weekend. Have a beer in my honor. I'll have a beer in your honor. Uh, maybe two. And I'll see you tomorrow with more videos. Later.